Can you hear me now? <laughs> Processional and Joyful Dance. Uh, the composer of that piece is Margaret Tucker, and she's a very unusual contemporary musician in that she holds master's degrees in cultural anthropology and choral conducting. Now, how disparate can you get? Uh, she served for many years as a church organist, and she's a prolific composer for handbells and children's choral music. The next piece we're going to do is Amazing Grace, and the arrangement that we're doing employs a technique that has just recently come into popularity. It's called the singing bell. Most of you have probably at one time or another wet your finger and traced it around the rim of a crystal glass and heard it ring. Well, it's a, kind of a similar um, principle used here, except instead of a wet finger, we're using wooden dowels. So.
Santo, Santo, Santo is an Argentine song, folk song, and you'll see the music is written in your program. We would like to play the introduction first on the bells. This also uses the singing bell. And then we're going to ask that you sing it through in the Spanish. I'm sure some of you can sort of fake it with the Spanish, and some of you know it, I'm sure. Um, and then we'll sing it again with the bells in English. change of pace. Um, we're going to pick it up a little bit with this little light of mine. Uh, this is based on an African-American spiritual. And as we approach about the halfway mark, I'm going to turn around to you and give you a signal, invite you to clap with us to the end of the piece. Okay.
it is well with my soul has very tragic origins, but the story kind of ends on a much happier note. So um, I'm going to tell you what I found out about this song. It was published in 1876, written by a man named Horatio Spafford, after several traumatic events in his life. The first was the death of his son at the age of two. And then in 1871, the great Chicago fire ruined him financially. Later on, he had planned to travel to Europe with his family, but he sent the family ahead while he was delayed on business. But while crossing the Atlantic, the ship sank after a collision with another sea vessel, and all four of Spafford's daughters died. His wife, Anna, survived and sent him a telegram saying, saved alone. Shortly afterwards, as he traveled to meet his grieving wife, he was inspired to write the words to this song as his ship passed near where his daughters had died. But his later life became much brighter. The Spaffords had three more children and they traveled to live in Jerusalem. They settled and helped found a group called the American Colony. This group engaged in philanthropic work among the people of Jerusalem Regardless of their religious affiliation, they ran soup kitchens, hospitals, orphanages, and other charitable ventures. So as they say, out of the ashes.
You'll recognize Joyful, Joyful as the tune of Hymn to Joy from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, or Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. This arranger, however, has given it a more lighthearted treatment. to turn it off. <laughs> um, there is a bomb in Gilead. It's another African-American spiritual, and it's arranged for only four ringers and piano. There's all kinds of things you can do with bells, as you can see. Uh, the bomb in Gilead is a reference from the Old Testament, but the lyrics of the spiritual refer to the New Testament concept of salvation through Jesus Christ. The bomb of Gilead is interpreted as a spiritual medicine that is able to heal Israel and sinners in general. And here's an interesting fact that I got off of Google. In 1845, Edgar Allan Poe mentions it in one of the last stanzas of his poem, The Raven, and I quote, On this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, Never more.
We have another African American spiritual, and as you can tell, we really like spirituals. <laughs> They're not only fun to sing, which our choir does a lot of them too, but they're fun to play on the bells as well. The lyrics allude to the biblical story of the Battle of Jericho, in which Joshua led the Israelites against Canaan. However, like the words of many other spirituals, there may also be other things that allude to the hope for eventual escape from slavery of any kind. If you will take out your hymnal, there should be a gather hymnal, I believe, in the pews in front of you. This hymn that we're going to ask all of you to sing was originally part of a book titled The Psalms of David Imitated in the Language of the New Testament, published by Isaac Watts in 1719. In this book, he paraphrased in Christian verse almost the entire Psalter. And when you... Um, we're going to sing the first three stanzas only, but before we begin, we'd like to thank Veronica Kennedy and Our Lady of Lourdes Parish for inviting us to play this evening, and we hope that you have enjoyed it. So now, would you please stand for the closing?
thank you all so very much for coming, and we have a reception for you out in the comments. Please do join us. Thank you.